Hi guys, how you guys doing? And as everything with you. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, before I start, I would like to say a very big thank you to you guys. Like, I'm so happy. Go, you guys will be happy. I want to cry. <laughs> like, I'm so happy. So, um, um, there's been an increase in subscribers. And I really want to say a very big thank you to you guys for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And for my video. Yes, I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you to you guys for watching and say very big thank you to the almighty God. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's get vagina educated. Alright, guys. You know, I said that the vagina is um 3 to 6 centimeter long. So, it's not centimeter. It's inches. So, the vagina is 3 to 6 inches long. Yes, guys. It is guys so y'all know that the vagina it's a canal that runs down from the cervix which is the lower part of the uterus down to the outside of the body and i told you guys that what is outside is the vulva that has the labia and the clitoris that is the vulva and yes i told you that the vagina is very elastic it's muscular the vagina is also a conduit for menstrual cycle and it also serves as lubrication during sex so today we're going to be talking about vaginal conditions yeah there are so many conditions that affect the vagina that most of us we don't know or we've probably experienced it before but we didn't really take it serious um i mean you know most of us don't really visit our gynecologists especially africans we do not visit gynecologists so now i told you guys about the amen that it can be ruptured it can be torn through sexual intercourse and it's not only sexual intercourse that th that tears the eye man it can also be torn through exercise like bike riding and stuff and i told you guys that it is a thin membrane of tissue that surrounds and narrows the opening of the vagina I so i wrote down some stuff via my research so i'm going to be like sharing it with you guys all right so we're going to talk about the vagina conditions like the conditions that affect the vagina um okay reading from the book, things i wrote down we have what we call here yeah, vaginitis vaginitis most of us have, i may not pronounce it well if you know the correct pronunciation you can correct me vaginitis or vaginitis vaginitis i think i get it right it's vaginitis come on i, I speak good english you know <laughs> all right so vaginitis is the inflammation of the vagina it's commonly from a yeast infection or bacteria overgrowth and the uh, symptoms of vaginitis include itching when your vagina is itching you and you're itching all the time or you're experiencing discharge maybe there's a you know we have different types of discharge there is the white there is the milky there is the something like yellowish so when you're having that kind of discharge you know there's a discharge that like when you want to be on your period they change its color but this vaginitis which is the inflammation of the vagina one of the symptoms is that it um there's a change of odor in your vagina you know i told you that the vagina smells naturally it's meant to smell but when you start noticing the foul odor in your uh, in your vagina then you should really check it out then another one we have what we call um vaginismus vaginismus which is the involuntary spasm of the vaginal muscles during sexual intercourse it is the involuntary spasm of the vaginal muscles during sexual intercourse and this could be caused by emotional distress so this could be caused by emotional distress so when you have this kind of thing uh you should actually get to see your gynecologist we have um another vaginal condition that we have we have a lot but i'm just going to talk about three of them we have what is called genital what or what w-a-l-t-s genital what it this affect the vulva and the cervix that is the outer part and they are caused by what is called the human papilloma virus which is called the hpv so if you have the hpv then you should go check yourself out we have what is called trichomoniasis it's also a vaginal condition trichomoniasis um this is the infection of the vagina 
by a microscopic parasite called trico trichomonas yeah so it is um an infection of the vagina by microscopic microscopic parasite called trichomonas that is it cannot be seen by the eyes it cannot be seen with the aid of a microscope that's the parasite so and it is transmitted it is transmitted by sexual intercourse this trans when you it is transmitted to sexual intercourse otherwise it, it is advisable that you abstain and if you cannot abstain please and please use condom and if you can't use condom get your partner tested okay don't just sleep with any guy uh, do not sleep with anybody until you know their health status ladies please men please don't do that and yes um trichomonitis is it is curable um we have another one we've got um the vagina cancer yeah it is very rare it is very rare but yes we do have it and the symptoms of a vagina cancer it's abnormal vaginal bleeding or discharge we normally discharge but when it's becoming too much you notice it's not it's becoming it's not normal and you're bleeding and you're not on your period nor are you pregnant like the bleeding is abnormal you need to get yourself checked get your vagina checked oh we have that one called the hsv which is called epi simplex virus epi simplex virus that's epis the epis virus it can it can infect the vulva the vagina and the cervix which means it can be internal and external at the same time and it causes small painful re recurring blisters and ulcers the vagina and sometimes it doesn't have noticeable symptoms so you can have hsv and not know that you have it it is also commonly transmitted sexually it's cut now you see why i said that you need to be a sexually responsible active person if you're going to be sexually active then you need to be responsible some of these um things are not curable some are curable some are not so much you have it you have it for the rest of your life now the the epic simplex virus it is not curable but it can be treated but it is not curable just like hiv hiv is not curable but it can be treated so please be sexually responsible all right guys let's go so i'm going to so now let's go to vagina treatment how do we treat our vagina we have what is called antimicrobials they are antifungal medications and they can treat yeast infection. So for those of you who've got yeast infection, and you know I told you that um, a condition responsible for a yeast infection is called vaginitis. So for those of you who have vaginitis, it can be treated with antifungal medications. We have another one. So for genital warts, you know I told you guys about, um, hold on. You know, I told you guys about genital wart. I said it affects the uh, cervix and the vulva. So now it can be treated. Um, so through freezing chemicals or cautery. Then we have Kegel exercises. You know, I told you about your pelvic floor. So now you need to exercise your pelvic muscles. Exercising them may improve or prevent vaginal prolapse and urinary incontinence so exercise go out and check for pelvic exercise you need to learn to exercise your pelvic muscles okay now we have the what we call the estrogen treatment this is useful to revitalize the structures in post menopause menopausal women we have surgery in cases of cervical cancer surgery is required to remove the growth is required to remove the tumor and it also treat vaginal prolapse so in order to prevent vaginal prolapse you need to do kegel exercises exercise your pelvic floor all right guys so in order for you to have a very healthy sexual active life you need to be sexually responsible ladies Please use condoms. If you cannot use condom, do not sleep with someone that you don't know their health status. You need to know 
what there are so many things that you can get that can be sexually transmitted so many stis you can get up hepatitis yes they can be sexually transmitted so you you can't you need to be very i don't know like you need to you need to have unconditional love for yourself like when you love yourself unconditionally then you love yourself so much that you don't just don't want anything to happen to you then you'll be very careful and you'll be very responsible please don't live a reckless life don't have reckless sexual life don't be sexually reckless with your life please ladies please thank you guys all right guys have a wonderful day have a blessed week don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i love you guys and please be sexually responsible women be sexually responsible bye guys